So, if you're like me and you're getting older, actually I'm pretty old now, and you hate these things, these things called the readers. Why are they called readers or cheaters? It's because they help you cheat. They look at and magnify up close vision. When you're in your 40s, you'll go through this process called presbyopia. Presbyopia is nothing more loss of near vision. And that happens in everybody, even people who are nearsighted. Let me explain. The lens inside our eye basically is nice and flexible and allows for us to get the highest range of what we call focusing power when we're little. That's why when you give a little baby a ball or a toy, they can bring it up to their nose and still focus on it. Very envious, aren't you? I am. Because what happens is when you hit 48, like me, you lose your reading ability and that lens inside just doesn't work the same. It just kind of gives up. And the reason it does that is because the fibers inside of it become sticky, harder, and more what we call less elastic. So essentially what happens is you're still able to see far, but then your reading drops off. So you need one of these bad boys. Now, how do you get rid of this? Is it safe to get rid of it? Are there other options? What are the other options? What can we do to improve that? Well, number one, is this technology has been around, what, hundreds of years. The most advanced, probably exciting thing that's happened here in the United States in the next, I would say, year to five years is there are eight companies working on eye drops that get rid of this stuff, which is pretty cool. You didn't mishear me. What happens is we actually will have in our armament, in doctor's offices, a drop that you can put inside the eye and temporarily up to a few hours, some up to eight, 12 hours, get rid of your reading glasses. So let's say you wanna to go to dinner with your friend and you don't wanna bring your cheaters out or you don't wanna whip out your iPhone and use a light to read the menu. Well, you can put the drops in right before you go out and that drop starts to kick in and you will see up close your dashboard and drive a car still without any issues. The most recent of these is gonna be a company called Allergan, the same one that does Botox, same company. We'll have this released probably end of the year 21, beginning of 22. It'll be available here in the United States. And I think it's gonna be just revolutionary. There's, like I said, eight other companies. They're all have different formulations. Big market in the United States is about 140 million, 135 million Americans that are affected. Globally, it's a two, two and a half billion people problem. It's a big, big problem, big, big unmet need. So it's exciting because if you think about it, a patient comes in like me, I don't need surgery. Surgery is too invasive. I don't want surgery. I can see fine for distance. And so we have really nothing to give them. We had corneal based surgeries, corneal inlays, which came and went. The marketplace didn't adopt them too much. I think drops are less invasive, less risky, temporary, and more economical for patients. And I think you'll see a big upward trend in that. So keep an eye on for that. Of course, there's other surgeries. So let's say when do I do surgery if the drops don't work? Or let's say the drops do work, but I want something more permanent. Certainly you can think about using laser vision correction surgery, or what we call LASIK surgery to do this correction. The problem I personally have with that is if you're farsighted like me and you just need it for reading, it does tend to wear off. In other words, because you're not really changing the lens that we just talked about, and you're really working on the cornea, your vision does what we call wear off. And so you've been to dinner parties and people say, oh, I had LASIK done 10 years ago, I'm back in glasses. That'll definitely happen to that patient. I generally don't recommend LASIK surgery and there are people that do, I don't. I just want things to last and I want things to be permanent. For patients who have problems now far and near, so let's say me 10 years from now, now I can't see far either. So I need glasses for far, I need one of these for near, and it's just getting way too much. At that point, then I'll have the option of what we're doing on lens replacement. So what is that? Lens replacement is basically what we talked about in our cataract chapter. If you haven't seen it, go down there and check it out. But basically what we're doing is replacing the lens very atraumatically, very painlessly, outpatient manner to be able to change the lens implant of the patient inside their eye. Pretty advanced stuff. It doesn't hurt. It takes about two minutes. And for patients who qualify and see their doctor and actually their candidates, they can be the godsend. And uh, I have patients that come in 10, 15 years ago, I did this surgery on them and they're like, still works. I love my vision. And they rarely come in because they don't have a problem, which is great. So it's exciting times. More to come on the technologies, innovation. As you know, it's a big passion of mine. Thank you for tuning in. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. Send the comments in, plus subscription button and like button, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.